Hello and welcome, Dr. Andy Rosenfarb here. So the last few days you've been talking about hydrogen and hydrogen therapy and how it could benefit your health and your vision. Today I wanted to explore the specific mechanism of action of how hydrogen can help your vision, help you save your sight, and also aid in the recovery process. So hydrogen is involved in certain vision recovery and preservation processes that directly support and maintain healthy vision. I want to talk about a few ways in which hydrogen can play a role in vision preservation. So we're going to look into these mechanism, mechanisms of action, specifically how, how can hydrogen really help? How does it work? What does it do to the body that helps uh, recover and preserve your vision? So these are all really important questions that I wanted to address right now. So first of all, hydrogen, as we already discussed, has this antioxidant effect. Molecular hydrogen has been studied as an antioxidant for these antioxidants properties. Uh, oxidative stress, which we have talked about a lot, especially the last couple of weeks. If you haven't already watched our video on reactive oxygen species, free radical and oxidative stress, please make sure to do so because that'll give you a really solid foundation about oxidative stress, reactive oxygen, oxygen species, and free radicals and how this actually affects your body. It's really, really important. So we know that oxidative stress, which is accelerated aging, of course, uh, it's an imbalance uh, in the production of reaction, reactive oxygen species and the body's ability to neutralize them. Uh, this can contribute to various eye conditions and cause optic nerve issues, retinal issues, macular issues, including things like cataracts, macular generation, glaucoma, uh, even genetic conditions like retinitis pigmentosa, normal tension glaucoma, Usher syndrome, Stargardt's, macular holes, uh, diabetic retinopathy, so on and so forth. So antioxidants in general, especially hydrogen, can significantly help reduce the oxidative stress load on the body and ultimately help protect the body from this type of harm or damage from free radicals or hyperabundance of free radicals systemically or locally in the body. So that's the first uh, major uh, process by which hydrogen works is, is a, a really, really powerful antioxidant. The second mechanism of action is in energy production. All right, hydrogen is really, really helpful for energy production. It's involved in cellular energy production and its role in the electron transport chain with the mitochondria. The retina is a light sensitive tissue in the back of the eye, also the macula is contained in that, that requires significant amount of energy to function properly. We know that the, the retina is the highest oxygen consuming tissue in the whole body. Therefore, by supporting cellular energy production, ATP production, in Chinese medicine we call that qi or qi, and hydrogen directly helps maintain a healthy functioning retina, optic nerve, and all the, the, the functions of the retina and the eye itself. So the neurovascular system, the whole the eye system, the blood vessels, the nerves, the rods, the cones, the glial cells, all and so on and so forth. So this energy production is really, really beneficial. It helps the eyes to, to manufacture and produce more energy so that they're functioning. Okay, So that's the second mechanism of action. The third mechanism of action is another really important one. It's inflammation reduction. Okay, Chronic inflammation um, is a major factor, as, as we know, for progressive vision loss. It can have detrimental effects on the eyes and contribute to a lot of different conditions, right? Mostly common is things like dry eye. People know that inflammation can, can affect that. And any of the itises, like uveitis, scleritis, iritis, uh, all, all these uh, optic neuritis, uh, retinitis conditions, like retinitis pigmentosa or autoimmune retinal conditions. So these inflammatory eye conditions are, are very responsive to, to elemental hydrogen therapy. And studies have shown that molecular hydrogen has a very powerful anti-inflammatory anti effect by reducing the production of pro-inflammatory cytokines, all right, cytokines. So by mitigating the inflammation, hydrogen may help to alleviate certain eye conditions and promote better 
healing of the eye, and overall visual health, right? So the next mechanism of action we want to talk about is neuroprotection. Hydrogen is currently being investigated uh, for its ability to protect nerves uh, and, and how it does that. So in context to vision, this could be particularly relevant to conditions affecting the optic nerves, such as glaucoma and optic nerve atrophy. It can be also very relevant to retinal conditions like diabetic retinopathy, retinitis pigmentosa, Stargardt's, Usher's syndrome, um, any re uh, retinal detachments, uh, a whole host of, of degenerative retinal conditions. Also macular issues, okay? It can really help with things like macular generation, macular holes, macular dystrophies, macular puckers. So any macular issue where the, the cone cells are concentrated in the fovea can really benefit very much by, by this type of therapy. Also things like floaters, uh, cataracts we talked about, uh, choroidal issues where the choroid is, is into function can really, really uh, be very highly responsive to hydrogen therapy. So by exerting protective effects of the nerve cells, hydrogen may help preserve uh, all the functions and, and, and structural integrity of the optic nerve, the retina, the macula, and the vascular system of the eye, the glial cells, the whole, the whole kit and caboodle of the, the, the visual system, the retina, the eyeball itself, the optic nerve, and the brain. So while we're talking about all the structures of the eye, it's worth noting that it's very important to help support the function of the brain. Because why? The brain is what sees it's the, the eye that picks up the information and relays it to the brain via the optic nerve, but the brain has a very uh, responsible function for interpretation uh, through the visual cortex and the prefrontal cortex. So it really helps us make sense of what we see. So it's also important to note, uh, I wanted to mention this, that uh, the research into the benefits of hydrogen for vision loss are still ongoing, and we need much, much more research as we're doing our clinical research here in, in our clinic in New Jersey over the summer. Um, it's important that, that we really do more work to help understand not only the mechanism of the action, but what conditions are going to respond well, and, and what forms do we want to do we want to administer? So what forms do we find that people respond to, to, uh, to, to these therapies and which conditions really do very well with this? So that's the study that we're doing over the summer. And to review that for those of you guys who hadn't watched our, our video yesterday, what we're doing is over the summer, uh, patients who are going to be visiting our clinic this summer for acupuncture and the reg regular treatments uh, are going to have the option to use hydrogen therapy as part of their treatment. What we're going to be doing is uh, we're going, we have these, these goggle, goggle misters that are basically going to deliver uh, uh, oxygen therapy combined with water to help get the hydrogen gas to all parts of the eye. It penetrates through the anterior part of the eye all the way back to the retina of the optic nerve. So the saturation of the eye with hydrogen is what we're looking to achieve. We're also going to have patients uh, have them go on hydrogen tablets, which we take. We put two tablets in water. Uh, you basically di dilute them. It takes about a minute or two for them to dilute, and then you drink the water, and that has a systemic effect for reducing the antioxidant burden on your body. So we're really taking two approaches to this. One is to get the hydrogen to the eyes to affect that specific tissue that's under extreme oxidative stress. And then second, we really want to help uh, just decrease the overall systemic burden of free radical hyperactivity and reactive oxygen species to help, again, just get those levels down to more manageable levels so where the body can just not have to deal with that. And that's why we recommend the hydrogen water. And again, that's just taking the hydrogen tablets, the H2 vision tabs that we have um, that you can order online at, at our Eye Health Institute, or if you want to call our office, you can do that as well. So that, my friends, is what we're going to talk about today. I want to keep this, this session short. We're just talking about the, the mechanisms of action and how hydrogen therapy can specifically benefit vision. Next week, we're going to go a little bit wider and talk about other conditions and how hydrogen therapy can work on your overall health and that mechanism and specifically what particular health conditions and disease processes will benefit most from hydrogen therapy. So thanks for staying with us, guys. If you have any questions, uh, any thoughts, any comments, any feelings about this treatment, 
uh, that you'd like to ask, please feel free to reach out to us. Uh, those of you guys who are in our Facebook group, please feel free to comment in our threads and ask questions. Uh, again, through email, call us, uh, DM us, feel free to reach out. We're here for you. I am Dr. Andy Rosenfarb with AccuVision Acupuncture, where your vision is our mission. Have a great day. Bye-bye.